Here's an application with two routes. We've got dashboard and we've got customers. Now it's a pretty common scenario for most applications that you would want to restrict access to certain places in the application to only be accessible by users with a certain access level. So to see how we can do this, let's say that we want two access levels. We want to have a basic user access level, and then we'll also want an admin access level. And then let's say that we want to have everyone be able to access dashboard, but then only users with admin can access the customer's area. So a good place to start would be to provide a redirect for anyone that tries to come to the customer's route and doesn't have an admin access level. To give ourselves something to work with, let's put something in local storage. So let's put in something that says role and we'll provide admin for that. Now this isn't how you want to store your roles for your application. Instead, you'll want to get this information from something like a JSON web token or from some user info endpoint on your server. And we'll cover that in other lessons, but this gives us something to work with for now. We'll want to read this value when the application loads and we're not going to be mindful of state in this scenario. We'll just read this value directly. Let's give ourselves a Boolean. We'll say is admin. That'll be enough for now just to demonstrate. And that's going to be equal to local storage get item role and then let's check if that role is equal to admin and then to help ourselves out so that we can see what we're doing why don't we print that role up here in the ui so within a p tag we can say user role and if the user is admin we'll say admin otherwise we'll just say user so the first role that we'll get is admin and then if we change this up to user and refresh we'll get user in fact, if this is anything aside from admin, we're just going to get user there. And for now, let's just plug user directly in. So we're using React Router in this application to do the routing. And React Router comes with this redirect component so that we can send users to any given place in the application. Where we can make use of this right off the bat is if we come down to customers where it would be rendered, and we can first check if the user is admin. If they are, we'll render customers, but if not, we will redirect. So let's redirect to the dashboard. So if we give that a save and refresh, we went right back to the dashboard, and that's because we were trying to get to customers, but we just have this user access role. If we try to click customers, we can't get there. And if we try to plug customers into the URL bar directly, we just hop back over to the dashboard. However, if we give ourselves admin access level, and refresh, then we can get to customers. So this is a really good start, but one of the problems that we still have is that even though we aren't able to access that customer's area as a regular user, the code that powers it is still sent to the browser when the application loads. And we can get a sense for that if we come to the network tab and reload, and we do a command F to search for John Doe, we get that in our main chunk.js. And in fact, we can go and inspect that main chunk. And sure enough, John Doe shows up right here. So what that means is that even though we can't get over to this customer's route right now, all of the code that goes into powering it is still in the browser. Now you would never want to store data like this right in your front end. Instead, you want to have that data behind a protected API endpoint of some sort. But even if the data isn't in the client, having the code for a particular route in the browser when users aren't able to access that route can still be seen as kind of a security hole. And that's because perhaps you've got some sense sensitive code with some business logic that you don't want your users to be able to see if they're not able to access that route. So what we want to do then is not ship this code to non-admin users at all. Doing so is going to be better for security and it's also going to be better for performance since the main bundle for our application will be smaller. And to do this, we're going to use lazy loading. The mechanism to do lazy loading comes right from React. So what we can do is import lazy from React and the only thing we really need to change up here is going to be how we import these pages. Instead of the standard import that we do up at the top, we'll instead give ourselves a constant of dashboard for the first case, and then we'll use lazy, and lazy gets a callback, which uses the import statement to go to the same place, to pages, and then to dashboard. And then let's do the same thing for customers. We'll just swap out dashboard here for customers. And now let's take out those initial imports that we had. 
Now, what we'll get right away is this error saying that we don't have any kind of fallback. And what's happening is that because these components are lazily loaded, we have to give our application something it can fall back to while that lazy loading is happening. We can do that fairly simply if we pull in suspense from React. And then just above the switch statement here, let's wrap it in suspense with a fallback. So we'll give it suspense and a fallback is going to be some component that we render if we are still loading. And we can just do something simple for this case where we have a div and we say it's loading. Now we'll need to provide the other end of suspense here just below the switch component. And now if we save this and load again, we've got our dashboard back. So now what's happening is the code that goes into powering the dashboard route and the customer's route are only loaded when those routes are visited. And we can take a look under the hood to prove this out. Let's go to change ourselves over to have an admin access level. And back in the network tab, if we go to refresh and then go to customers, we'll see that we've got this second chunk of JavaScript that comes in. And this should have John Doe located within. Now, if we flip back over to have a user access level and we refresh once more, we go back to dashboard. And if we try to search for John Doe, no matches are found in this case. So that means that the code for the customer's area did not come through on that initial load. The last thing that we would want to do here is simply hide this customer's link if the user is not an admin. But because users would be able to plug in routes directly in the URL bar, it's important that we provide a redirect like we did. And to round out a good security posture for ourselves here, it's important that we use React to its fullest extent and lazily load the code that powers these routes.